real celebration. And I am very happy. You all in vain. I am very happy to be celebrating with you. I don't know if Jamie Beach and the others have told you about what's happened at the courthouse this morning. But something very significant occurred that is very important to you and to all the people, uh, the, the, the Khmer people from Cambodia. Every once in a while, in the human rights field, something special and especially important happens. And it's a very rare thing because it's, it's hard to make good things happen when you're dealing with repression and, and and uh, dictatorship and people who are abusing people around the world. But one of those very rare good things happened this morning in the U.S. federal courthouse. I want to remind everybody that what happened was only the first step in the Meech Savanara case. But it was a very successful and very important first step. What we did was ask the judge to do something that's called in law initiating ju jurisdictional discovery. And what that means is that we're, we would be put in a position of being able to force the Cambodian government to disclose essential pieces of information that they have held secret. They don't want the spotlight of international attention and the attention of the U.S. courts on what they've been doing. But we were able to convince the judge to initiate discovery and allow us to force the government of Cambodia to disclose very important information about the Meech Savanara case. Let me ask everybody here a, a very simple question. What is the main strategy, the main tool that the Hun Sen government uses to intimidate the population and silence critics and members of the political opposition.
Yes, the military is a big part of that, and of course, on the net is, is part of that process. But what is it that's keeping Samra and Si in exile? What is it that's keeping uh, Kim So Kao uh, boarded up in his home, unable to do anything? And the threat of prosecution, the threat of legal action against them. Well, here is the surprise. Here is the strange thing that happens today. It is the Hun Sen government that is about to enter court action. And it is the Hun Sen government through Hun Manet who is subject to the threat of criminal prosecution. It's a reversal of fortune. Exactly the same threat, exactly the same tactic that the Hun Sen government uses to intimidate people is now taking place against him. It's not only the fact that the judge this morning issued an order requiring discovery to take place. It's also the fact that two criminal prosecutions, two criminal investigations, are pending right now against Unmanet and his bodyguards for assaulting the process server that served him with the court summons in our case. Two weeks ago, we received a letter from the Long Beach Police telling us that the criminal investigation against Hun Sen and his bodyguards still is taking place. It's currently pending. And Paul Hayes, the process server who served process in our case, also filed criminal charges against Han Manet and his bodyguard unit with the United States government. That is pending also. Also, can you do me a sweet favor? He has no one to stand here, so I can just go. They cannot hear him. Oh, well, he, he needs to take it. Okay. I don't know what we are late sometimes. 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 I don't know what we are late so there are now two criminal cases, and our case that the, the judge just decided on with the discovery process, 
All of those are pending now and putting pressure on the Hun Sen government. The government of Cambodia. It's signed by someone you know pretty well, Prat Sokan, the person who is now the minister, the foreign minister, who replaced uh, uh, the what was his name? This piece of paper acknowledges that fact that the lawsuit has been filed against the government of Cambodia and the process has been served by the court against them. They have received the court complaint. So the government of Cambodia, along with Hun Manet, will now be active defendants in our case in California. And the fourth thing that just happened that's so important is that uh, Societa Meech, the daughter, the 15-year-old daughter of Meech Sovanara, this morning in the courthouse gave copies of her humanitarian appeal letters that she filed on behalf of her father with Hun Sen and Hun Menek. She gave cop those copies of those letters to the opposing counsel who represents Hun Menek and Hun Sen. <laughs> So that gives us a little bit of hope that the Hun Sen government will take those letters seriously and think about releasing not only Meech Savanara, but uh, Un Saman and the other people that are affected by his policies. So all these four things have all happened at once. The decision that was issued today initiating discovery against the government of Cambodia. That's in, in the court case in California that we filed. The notification of the pending criminal investigations of Hun Manet and his bodyguards for their attack on Paul Hayes. Third, the service of process on the government of Cambodia, so that now the government of Cambodia is officially a party defendant in our case. So 
And finally, and fourth, the letters of meet of Sociata uh, Nietzsche, the humanitarian appeal letters that she wrote to Hun Sen and Hun Manet, were hand delivered today to the lawyer representing them, so they will get into the hands of Hun Manet and Hun Sen directly. These are small steps, but they're very important ones. They're just the beginning of the process of holding the government of Cambodia accountable for its human rights abuses. I need to remind you that this is only the beginning of the process. This is only the first step. We have much more work that must be done, but we've started off on a very good road, and these are highly effective steps that we need to celebrate and feel very good about. <laughs> There's much more work that needs to be done. We have to go to Cambodia to interview, to ask questions of Hun Manet and other officials in the government of Hun Sen. Tomorrow I meet with the lawyer for Hun Manet, and now the government of Cambodia probably, and we will come up with a final plan for the discovery process, the information disclosure process. And on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, September the 6th, 